Boom. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, I want us to talk about ticket symbol DWAC. I'm just call it, I'm just gonna call it DWAC, which is Digital War. So this is a company that is actually in the process of taking um, Donald Trump's social media platform called Truth public so they're going through what are called a reverse merger so we're going to talk about that today talk about uh the volatility of the stock and price uh projection looking forward but before we get started guys if you're new to the channel we talk about how to earn money how to save money how to invest and build wealth so that's something that interests you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content so before we even jump in guys i want to apologize a little bit i mean last week i came down with a call I know what you're thinking. It's not what you're thinking. I'm not gonna say the name here on my channel. Uh, it was just a regular call. I feel better now. Just a, a stuffy nose if you can hear in my voice, uh, but I do feel great and I appreciate all the love and support that you guys are gonna give me. Um, so let's talk about DWAC. So last week, um, this stock just came out of nowhere when the annou announcement was made and just skyrocketed. As a matter of fact, it, I mean like it completely blew it out of the ballpark. So let me kind of give you guys some background here. So um, Donald Trump has been working on uh, trying to get back online in some shape or form. If you guys remember, uh, he was banned on Twitter, on Facebook, uh, YouTube, pretty much like he was uh, the platform across the board, just like um, Alex Jones. Uh, so um, he's been trying other ways to get back online. Um, he's been like talking to other people. Um, I think he's on Rumble, if I if I remember that very well. I have to double check that. Um, but it's not the same. So uh, what better way than to create your own platform that you have full control over? So uh, again, that's left to be seen. But that is the whole premise here. So um, the, the company that's actually like, taking them public, so you're going through kind of a reverse merger, is called Digitech World. Uh, ticket symbol DWAC. So if everything goes well, um, then Truth is going to be trading publicly, uh, and then they're going to have their own platform. I don't know the ins and outs of the platform. I don't know if it's going to be a video platform like YouTube, or it's going to be kind of like a text platform like Twitter or Facebook. That's a combination of text slash videos. I have no idea, but um, we're going to see that. I know as of right now, they have about 30 days to uh, kind of make claim um, to the code that they use in this particular product. So I'm still waiting to see that. So uh, if we can jump in and take a look at the, the stock price uh, prior to that, even before, this is kind of the news um, that the stock actually dropped 10%, but let's really jump in here. So if you can see, this is where the stock is currently trading right now at about $86 and some change. If you can see here on the chart, $86 and some change. Uh, but just um, as of the 21st of October, uh, this thing was sitting somewhere at about $9. So you can see, yeah, somewhere around $9.94. Um, this news came out and the thing skyrocketed. Um, just watch it all the way to a high of $175. Dollars, guys. This is, I mean, this is not a, a glitch. This is for real. The stock moved that much. Uh, and if you also look at even the, the the Warren, I can bring that up here. The Warren did move about the same. Uh, if you can see, the Warren got to a high of about eighty dollars from maybe two dollars and some change. If you can see down here, so it's, I mean, it's insane. But now the stock, you see, it pulled back. Um, all the way to about 75, squeeze back up to a high of about 121 um, today before pulling back again, sitting at that 86 price point, which again is still insane. If you had bought this thing down here, that's ridiculous amount of return. But now uh, the fact that uh, people are starting to talk about it and today uh, they open options so people can actually buy puts and buy calls um, is definitely going to impact the volatility of the stock. Then most people are going to be waiting for that news to hear. If the news comes out that yeah, the 30 days that they were given to prove that the code that is used for this particular product is their code, um, then they would the thing is just going to go um, it's going to go live. And you can imagine um, this this dude doesn't he's he's not short of fans. Like he's got 
a ton of people, a ton of followers, millions, I mean, per se. You're talking about half of the country voted for this too. So people want to hear his voice. The fact that he's been the platform really does impact some people. So you're going to see people flock to this platform and who knows, um, they could start generating some revenue from advertising and um, just like any other social media platform. So if that's the case, there is some, a huge potential here. Again, this is tying to the name of the person that's behind this, this particular move is tied to Donald Trump. Um, the fact that he's, he's got his hand in this thing uh, can potentially drive the price uh, even to say 200, 300. That won't surprise me if that's the case. So um, again, for, for, for day traders, now that they have um, options, you can you know either trade it both ways, you can buy puts or buy calls, or you can um, kind of leverage puts and calls uh, buy one put, buy one call, and then see which one is moving there. You can close the other one and then write the other one. So that way, um, you're going to give back a little bit of your profit, but you then you end up not losing a ton of money. But if you are looking to just buy this and hold, uh, I'm not sure. If you're seeing, I mean, again, like I said, this thing moved from $9 to $175. Um, expect some pullback. So I'm going to, I'm going to wait and see the same pullback. If I see it pull back all the way, um, to the teens, then at that point it would be enticing for me to kind of want to take a, uh, you know, kind of a little snip at it again and just hold, um, in not a massive position, just hold something that I am willing to, um, really let go if things don't go my way. So that's how I'm going to play this one. But again, I just want to bring this up to you guys. So you guys are aware, uh, you've probably seen this kind of turning into a meme stack. If that's the case, if you've, you've seen it, um, it's just cause of, um, the power of Donald Trump that's behind this particular, uh, spark, um, his company, social media company is working with the spark to go public. So again, guys, um, like, like I said, this is something that, uh, for people that want to invest long-term, this is high risk because if tomorrow any news comes out about this code that they are talking about that, maybe they rip it up from some other, uh, uh, project, this thing can go from right now sitting at 85 down to zero. Um, on the flip side, if they say, oh no, this is good to go. Um, this thing is going to be going live here in the next month or two. This thing can go from 85 right now to 200. I'm not going to sit here and tell you guys I have any insight or any particular information. Everything I'm telling you is stuff that I've just researched online. So definitely go do your own research. It is high risk, high reward. I traded this Friday, made, made some good money. I can't complain. Um, you know, I mean, I'm not a greedy savage. Um, today it was kind of sloppy. I, I did a pre-market trade and then got out and you see it went to 121 then pulled back. So I'm just kind of being smart about it. Like I said, I'm kind of watching the news and making sure that I follow that to understand what's going on so that if there's any bad news, um, what you can do here is sh shut the thing or, or buy some puts if it's during um, market hours. Uh, but if it's during after hours, you can short it if there's bad news. And likewise, if there's good news, you can go long or buy some calls if it's during uh, regular trading hours. So again, let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this. Um, if you heard about this, did you trade it? Are you in? Did you buy it when it was $10 and you're still holding? And what's your game plan? Definitely let me know in the comment section. If you're new here, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So that's something that interests you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. And also, if you're looking to get started with investing, Weibo has their promotion where if you sign up and deposit $5, you get free crypto, free stocks, and no cost to you. Links in the description below. And as always, guys, do your due diligence. Don't be a greedy savage. Stay motivated.